with people. People have emotional ebbs and flows and highs and lows. Now, if we move from weight, let's talk about another problem. I have a problem right now where I have an athlete who really needs to learn sole circle negotiation. They need to learn sole. The problem is the athlete doesn't really know how to do sole. So now you have to you got to teach sole. Difficult because you got to start basic level sole, left versus left sole, left versus right sole. Same side, I was the side, Kika Yosu, I Yosu. You got to do all this. Then you got your feints in the sole. Then you got your foot plate. You, you have a lot of things about sole. And then you have to teach the person how to do the throw. You have to do throws. You got to watch film. You got to understand sole. What is sole? What, all that. Then you got to teach the throws. You got to do all the linking, all the cell 90s, all the sodes, etc. And then. You have to motivate the individual, let them know they can do the throw through repetitions, through randori, through positive coaching cues, etc. This is key. Person loses, try so they gets countered. Now you got an effective problem with so they. And you have a foot play, you have a cycle motor, you got a movement, you got a human movement problem with so they. So you're constantly fixing the problem, which is so they and the problem will structure how you write the curriculum and fix it. You can't just say, oh, we're gonna do a bunch of throws. Yeah, if right versus left, left versus right, throws how? Faint to so they would fix what? How? This is key. I can tell you this. I don't know if he knows he's doing it, or if he doesn't know he's doing it. I saw Jimmy Pedro's father, Jimmy Pedro Sr., work with Ronda Rousey before the 2008 Olympics on Sole every which way up, down, back, and forth, doing throws after practice, before practice, technical sessions. I saw him doing it. I don't know if he sat down and did everything like this. I think some of the stuff he just knows internally. But I, I did see him doing that with that throw. I did. Some people do it, some people don't. Some people do it in terms, some people don't. Some people can just do it, boom, in their brain. They can just, they have a blinker. They can just do it. I'm not talking to those people because if you're like me and I wasn't one of those people, I can do it now. You need to learn how to do it. You need to be able to be successful at this game of judo and understand the secrets of success. The secrets lie in the training, the coaching, the programming, the know-how. If you don't have that, you can go and you can do sode, drop set, nine, your solo guard until you're blue in the face and you can coach yourself until you bruise the bottom of your feet. If you don't know how to structure your practices and you don't know the things to do to, to increase your judo game exponentially, you, got, you are going to be in trouble, my friend. You're going to be in trouble. If you can't do this, you can't write a program, you can't write curriculum. And if you can't write curriculum, you can forget about having a great team when I write curriculum. You might have some flashes of a, of, of a great team, but things need to be measurable and things need to be repeatable. Now, check this out. You can have success over the years even when you're doing things wrong and incorrectly or not all the way right if you are provided with a certain talent pool sometimes you get fed the talent who knows who knows if Japan is doing everything right who knows 